Hi, I'm Johan from KEF. I'm responsible f basically for presentation of the brand all over the world. Q-Series. Q-Series is very important. It is our tops seller. It is our core range. It has been so, it is very famous, for approximately the last 20 years. Why is it our top seller? It's kind of obvious. Q-Series is really affordable. And Q gives a clue to the core technology, UniQ, which to many people is our best known technology. Later on, I want to show a few details of what we've done on our new Q-Series drivers. With this whole range of loudspeakers, what we've achieved is creating a lineup of loudspeakers which have such high-end elements that they are really a class above. At the heart of the system is, of course, the UniQ array. This is the brand new five and a quarter inch unit, which is used as example here on the Q500 floor stander. We've got some new elements here, which are totally amazing. Let's start with the surround to the UniQ. This is a brand new invention by our engineers called Zflex. What does that do? Basically, we are asking the cone to travel a long way. But it is important that the sound waves from the tweeter, as many of you will know, move undisturbed along the cone flare of the mid-range unit. But when we have a surround which allows movement, sometimes waves bounce back because of reflections. With Z-Flex, we can still have lots of movement from the cone without breaking that clean line of the baffle. The waves move cleanly out and without distortion. For the first time, we've used metal cones. This is a bit of a departure for KEF. Metal aluminium cones have advantages but also some disadvantages. We've refrained from using metal cones in the past. When they get to the top of their operating range, the, adva the advantage of a metal cone is that they're light and stiff and movement remains pistonic. The problem is when they get to the top of their operating range, they create a nasty spike in the sound, a kind of a zinging sound. Well, the engineers have even thought of how to get rid of that. At the neck of the voice curl, you can't see it here, there is a tiny little tuned suspension to get rid of that nasty spike in sound. It's that typical attention to detail which you expect from Kef. The whole construction is amazing considering the price. The voice coils are huge. Why? We don't do anything for no reason at all. It's got to have a benefit. Why do we do that? Basically, very powerful magnet, huge voice coil, no compression, no distortion. The sound remains linear. We've introduced high-end elements normally found in loudspeakers many times the price, like look at what I'm doing here. I'm just taking this part off, which reveals um, the vented tweeter. We've got a, uh, behind the tweeter, we've got a tube which allows air to move into the tube so we don't get pressure buildup. And from a practical point of view, we've got what we call the tangerine waveguide. Not only is it the ob obvious, which is a tweeter protector, you can't bash in the tweeter, but it's dual function. There is uh, a reason for this. This shape actually enhances the performance of the treble 
and aids the dispersion. It's all very, very carefully worked out. Furthermore, since decades, KEF have been known for what we like to call total system design. This is pulling everything together, looking at fine details and pulling everything together to create usable practical solutions. Some of the details involve, for example, on the floor standers, the stabilizing feet outriggers with the spikes, you can actually adjust the spikes from the top to the terminal panel. I've got one in my hand here. You can either single or bi-wire the loudspeakers. Normally, we have a wiring link between the two sets of panels. But here, we've actually applied two screws if you undo these middle screws, you can buy, you can buy wire the loudspeakers. Simply doing them up the opposite way, we make direct contact to the crossover and we can single wire. Simple and effective. Our biggest Q-series floor stander has got a eight inch UniQ. We've got the middle one's got a six and a half inch UniQ and what I've got in front of me is the Q500 has got the five and a quarter inch UniQ which I've just shown you. The three floor standards have a symmetrical approach. The base drivers and the ABRs are all the same size as the UniQ on the Q500 here, we have five and a quarter inch UniQ with five and a quarter inch ABRs, passive radiators, and a five and a quarter inch base driver. Physically, the cabinets are split into two sections. The UniQ is augmented by the ABR, and on the base section at the bottom, we've got a driven base driver and an ABR. Why do we use ABRs? To combine the advantages of a closed box for snappy performance and a ported design for deep bass and efficiency. That's part of what we like to call total system design. So, in summary, the Q series, it's a really comprehensive range. There's a lot of models. And there's a reason behind that too. People like different things. Some people like just stereo. Others like a multi-channel home theater system. We've got models like the 800DS, which is a specialist dipole surround. We've got two center channels. The subwoofer, which is obviously necessary for a home theater system. There are no less than nine models in the range. Mix and match, Q-Series is equally at home with music or movies at a very affordable price.